Members of the Parliamentary Committee on Defense and Internal Affairs have questioned rationale and the regulatory framework intended to guide the implementation of the compulsory national service scheme. Service will live in the campus, people who are not going to university. It's, it's not going to be an elitist thing, as you want to put it. And therefore, why do you want defense to be also the lead agency? So far, as the national plan, the national development plan number two indicates that one, UPDF takes the lead responsibility. But as we have indicated, our responsibility will be after S6 for those who are going to. So, but we have also indicated that this is going to be a shared responsibility. Newly elected members of parliament of the ruling NRM party adopted the proposal for compulsory national service during a retreat at the National Leadership Institute in Changkwansi. According to the proposal, all youth on completion of primary 7, senior 4 and senior 6 will undergo a compulsory military training before securing public employment. In the 1990s, many Ugandans underwent similar political and military training dubbed Chakam Chaka, but it later fizzled out over claims that the NRM party was using it to indoctrinate citizens. The Defense and Internal Affairs Committee members also met officials from the Ministry of Defense led by the State Minister for Defense General JJ Odongo and the Chief of Defense Forces General Katumba Omala. The committee was debating the Defense Ministerial Policy Statement for 2016-2017 financial year. On Operation Wealth Creation, the lawmakers wondered whether the soldiers now implementing the program have the skills and techniques in advancing agriculture, which is the backbone of the country's economy. You are wasting public money. Sustainably going forward is a wrong direction for the country to take. Uh, and for me, that, that's my case. Unless you have special competencies, not all of them are of your caliber, what exactly are you going to be giving out to Ugandans? Do you have the necessary competence? Because this is the critical and the backbone of the economy. We could design this thing in a manner that the former military person who is now in the community can be captured to be the starting critical mass of production. But Chief of Defense Forces General Katumba Omala defended the role of the UPDF, saying their involvement is based on strategic direction and supervision. Been delivered, which have been given to sub county X, have reached. I know members of parliament are distributing maize. They are not. You are, you are not. You are not replacing the extension workers, but you receive mails and take it to the constituency. The UPDF right now, that is our role, move from point A to point B. That's what we do and make a record. What have you distributed? Ensure that what is going to a county or a sub-county has reached in time and in the right quantities. And that's what we have done. The committee was also informed that security agencies spent 5 billion shillings during and after they just concluded the elections. Some of the money was utilized for the Pope visit, the election security, mainly food, fuel, accommodation and intelligence collection. More research all in TV at Parliament.